What's good, YouTube? Chris from Two Innovation here, bringing guys my team Q and A. So, without further ado, let's begin. Starting off with, sorry about that, guys. Mars, what are your thoughts on ARG format? Both Nugio and the ARG Forbidden Limited list. They plan to release on July 12. Um, I express my opinions on that, of that in a different video. Link will be on the screen or in the description below, whichever one I feel like linking it to. But yeah, to answer your question, Mars, link will be in the description. But you already saw the video anyway, so because me and you talk on Facebook Live. Um, Pauly asks, could you try to build some other variants like OTG Master Hero version with Diamond Dude that won Japanese Nationals, Synchro Master Hero whatever? Synchro Master that um, Parker you can keep Shockwave in Chicago and play it in Vegas. Would like to see some hero variation in Dual Network Duel. Well, Pauly, I can do that just right now. I'm not doing any kind of Dual Network videos anytime soon because the season is over and I'm currently waiting on the ban list, but I see no issue with me trying out different versions of heroes. Um, Forever Epic asks, what does Sam's sandwich taste like? Also, you choose the topic of the rap battle, 16 bars, let's get it, bro. <laughs> um, what does sandwich taste like? Sandwich tastes like sandwich. Turkey, salami, Italian dressing, really fucking good. And, um, uh, that's the topic of B. Shit, I don't fucking know. I passed the ball back to you, pick. I really don't care. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess. Commander War 64 X, I had... I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! been better popular. Okay, he didn't ask a question. I was just going to do a comment, and he didn't ask a question. So, okay, Samuel Aledoho, probably put your butcher the name, Infernoid Tier 1 in the TCG. Due to a good matchup and everything, and also we have no Infinity, so fine, but is that Infernoid Tier 1? I don't think so, because they're easily stopped due to cards like Pure Iron Wall, but we do have ways for in front of stop that with MSTs and etc. I can see in front of honestly being a, a solid tier two, tier one point five. But with the ban list coming out, who knows what can happen. Hello Smexy Fuck the World asks, have you ever seen The Walking Dead? If not, why haven't you? What if so, why isn't season five on Netflix Netflix yet? Either way, life incomplete. Well Hello Smexy Fuck the World asks, you must be new to the internet because honestly I just watch online episodes through random live streams on the internet so i'm fully caught up big fan of the walking dead if you guys that have me on personal facebook i just actually put the um comic-con trailer on my personal facebook to watch the walking dead but they probably took it down already because you already know how that comic-con stuff goes but walking dead's freaking awesome one of my favorite shows next to game of thrones and supernatural um let's see any other questions on the facebook page? okay Ulias Contreras asks, do you think your Sinjus will be tier at least tier 1.5 if they get comma 4 with the other comma based effects and how effect destroy spell trap of the number of you Sinjus monster control? So basically he's making up a comma 4 with a effect that pops back row. Honestly, with that kind of effect, it really depends on the kind of format. If that comma 4 was in this format when it was pretty much Necros, they'll still be the same. It will be it will up them up a little bit on the tier list, but I don't think they'll be any that much better than they are now. If that makes sense. Let me see. Um yeah, that was it for the YouTube questions. So let's get down to the Facebook questions now. And starting off with Max Biles, are there any products that you are looking forward to? Why yes Max I, I am. I'm definitely looking forward to the new Synchron structure deck because I am a fan of the Synchro archetype. I love synchro decks that are pretty fun, kind of like fusion decks. And I can see myself messing around with a synchron deck and giving it a future deck profile. Maybe maybe even taking the deck to a regional to see how good I do with the deck. And of course I'll still be running heroes, but it's another deck I do like synchrons. I just like decks that do a lot of goofy shit that can beat the opponent that people don't really see played that much often. Decks like that in my opinion takes a lot of skill. So yeah, definitely the same crime deck and any other reprints that we get and cards that support heroes. Because heroes will be my number one deck for format. Number two deck, if anything, if I have to extra cash so spin on it, it will be definitely the same crime. So I'll probably mess around with it at locals and go to a few regionals with it after I do great with heroes. So who knows what the future holds. Um, let me see. Alfred Coax. 
what would you like to see on the ban list? Well, I like to see on the ban list, um, D Gen for one. Everyone's saying LeBall will chain ban. I mean, if it gets banned, if it don't get banned, I really don't care. I'm one of those persons that I really don't give a fuck what the ban list looks like. I'm sedentary, I'll adjust to whatever format Konami throws. I mean, so with that being said, if I had a preference, definitely D Gen and any degenerate combos banned with like the FDK, OTK combos. Everything else is fair game in my personal opinion. The ball chain, if it got banned, I understand why. If it didn't get banned, whatever. And last but not least, Alice Glowacki asks, do you, what do you think will be the best decks heading into the next format? I believe in, in addition to current decks, Infernos and Heroes might be valid meta picks. I definitely agree with you. Heroes is a really great deck. Infernos is also another solid deck. And whenever Konami give us the ban list, I can definitely see those decks really wrecking, wrecking the meta. Heroes is already currently wrecking the meta now, and Inferno is are also doing their things on a smaller level, but both decks are really great picks. So, I believe those are all the Q&A questions this week. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this week's Q&A. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for support. As always, comment down in the comment section below your guys' questions for next week's Q&A. And of course, I do these videos because I truly believe in helping you guys become better players. And also, I do these videos because I truly believe in you guys helping you become a better player. Chris from Team Innovation, signing out. Peace.